If we conceive of a being whose faculties are so sharpened that he can follow every molecule in its course, such a being whose attributes are as essentially finite as our own would be able to do what is impossible to us. in the hot region will soon communicate some of their excess energy to the slower neighbors through the repeated collisions. If the molecules move at random, then before long, the excess energy will be shared out more or less evenly and spread throughout the vessel until a common level of agitation is reached. With this vivid picture, it is very easy to see why heat flows from hot to cold. The reason we regard this moving out of temperature as irreversible is that the effect of the molecular collision is akin to the random shuffling of a deck of cards. If you start out with cards in a particular order and then shuffle the deck, you would not expect that further shuffling would return the cards to the original orderly sequence. Random shuffling tends to produce a jumble. It turns order into a jumble and a jumble into a jumble. But practically never turns a jumble into order. The system remains in an unchanging state called thermodynamic equilibrium. The vessel will certainly contain heat energy, but this energy cannot do 